Hello and welcome to the very first lesson of React Native Authentication. In this lesson, we'll set up our tools in our environment. First, you'll need a Mac. A Mac is required to follow along in this tutorial. Although you can build React Native apps using Windows, we will not be covering that in this tutorial. We'll be installing Node and Watchman. We'll set up Xcode and CocoaPods, and we'll also download a code editor. By the end of this lesson, your environment will be ready to start development. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we want to do is get a good code editor. My preference is Visual Studio Code. If you don't already have one, you can use any code editor you like. But if you don't have one, I highly recommend this one. So head on over to code.visualstudio.com. It is free, and you just download that and install it. Next, we need to install Homebrew. Homebrew is basically a package manager for Mac OS, and we'll need this so we can install Node and Watchman. So go ahead and visit brew.sh, and then we're just going to go ahead and copy this line of code right here, and you're going to open your terminal. If you don't know how, click the launchpad icon in the dock, Type terminal in the search field and click terminal. So here's my terminal. I'm going to go ahead and paste that line of code that I just copied from brew, homebrew, and hit return. It's not going to do anything on mine because I already have this installed, but rerunning it isn't going to hurt anything. So go ahead and run that command. And then we'll wait for that to finish. Once that's done, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use Homebrew to install Node and Watchman. If you already have Node installed and you know what it is, check your version and make sure you have the latest version. If I check mine, I'm at the latest version. If you're not, you can use Brew to upgrade your Node. But if you don't have it, then all you're going to do is brew install node. Hit return. Again, mine's going to say it's already installed. On yours, this might take a little while. The next thing you want to install is Watchman. It'll be useful when we're developing because it will detect when a file changes and it triggers the whole rebuilding command so that you don't have to manually rebuild every time you make a change to your file and then you can see your changes almost instantly as you're making them in your code. Okay, so let's go ahead and install Watchman and it's just brew install Watchman. And again, mine won't do anything because I already have that installed so I just get a warning. All right, so now the next thing we need is Xcode. To install Xcode, go ahead and open your App Store. Let me open mine up here just to show you. All right, so App Store, if I search for Xcode, mine is already installed. If yours is not installed, you're going to have to pause, actually turn off this video, install Xcode, you might have to restart your computer, which is more high, very highly likely, and then come back here. But let's say once you have installed it, just go to open. And that's going to open your Xcode. In the very top in Xcode, you're going to go to your preferences. And then we're going to, in our preferences, we need to go ahead and install command line tools. Mine's already installed, but yours probably won't be. So go ahead and just select the highest version that you see in this drop down. For me at the time, it's 11.4, which is already installed. So we'll go ahead and install that. And then that will be all that we need. And we're almost all set. Okay, so to finish, Setting up our Xcode, the last thing we need to install is CocoaPods. CocoaPods is basically a dependency manager for Xcode projects. So to do that, go ahead and open your terminal again. 
And to install that, we basically are going to type the command sudo gem install CocoaPods. And sudo just means your administrator running this as an administrator. So make sure you have your password for that. And on mine, it's going to be really quick because I have already installed this. Okay, we're done setting up most of our tools. Uh, next lesson, we are going to go over setting up AWS account and configuring AWS Amplify for our project. See you in the next lesson.